analysts have found out that since the year 1871, over a one-year time horizon, 80% of equity price changes are being driven by changes in valuation. So by the willingness of investors to pay a multiple for one dollar that is generated by a company. Over a five years so or over a longer term horizon, 80% is being generated by dividend yields and dividend growth. Now we know that Donald Trump wants to decrease or wants to have a tax holiday for, um, for profits that US companies made outside of US borders to repatriate this money back into the United States. Right now, the tax rate is 35%. Donald Trump wants to have a tax holiday. He wants to decrease that to 10%. So that could be um, uh, that in the S&P 500, out of $1,000 billion that are being um, stored outside US borders, 200%, uh, 200 um, billion are coming back to the United States and Goldman Sachs expects that 150 billion of that are being invested in buybacks and stock in, in uh, companies buying back stocks. Right now, this trend of buying back stocks in the S&P 500 has been going down on an annualized basis, 6% down to $592 billion. But should companies really buy additional 150 billion, that number or that volume would increase by 25%. The interesting thing is that George W. Bush had the Homeland Investment Act already initiated, but that was connected to companies. Um, if, if they use the tax holiday and take money back to the United States, they need they needed to have that money invested in something that creates jobs. Donald Trump does not have that. Donald Trump says you can repatriate the money. What you do with it is your um, obligation or is, is your, uh, you must have the idea of what to do. And um, most analysts actually assume that people will not invest into increasing their top line. So investing to create jobs in the United States, but investing in stock buybacks, which will bring a very fast increase in, um, in the dividend yield, fast increase in the price earnings. And price earnings in the S&P 500 are right now at 131.95 with a price earnings ratio of 17.4. So that might be a supportive factor if that tax um, holiday is really going to be coming. We've got really some high valuations in some sectors. If you look at um, the energy policy changes that the Trump um, government wants to initiate, um, it wants to deregulate less environmental protection and um, the price earnings forward price earnings for the expectations or based on expectations in the energy sector in the United States is 31.5. So really a high valuation and as we all know, the S&P 500 rally has really gone fat. 2,000 billion US dollars have been added in market capitalization since the election of bad Trump. So that is something that might bring us a correction further down the road. We now got a divergence, which is really interesting. We got the uh, European equity markets, which are in a uh, very clearly in a correction. And we've got Wall Street, which is which has tried to go into the same correct corrective mode, but with the deregulation of uh, the Dodd Frank Act, the rolling back of deregulation of regulation of U.S. banks, it has jumped and is not in any correction. The DAX right now is eleven thousand five hundred seventy-five euro dollar at one oh six sixty-six. So that is a trying to watch should the euro dollar break out it has formed an inverted head and shoulders pattern that might be interesting to see